So I think the next step, closing the conjunctiva, is one of the most critical steps. And for me, it, it takes sometimes almost half the time of the operation, but it, it's such a, a critical step that you have to get right. If you don't get that conjunctival wound watertight, you're in for a very rough post-operative course. And you have to get it right on the table. You can't get out of that eye until you've got it absolutely watertight. So I use the 10 nylon and the first pass is in the, uh, into the cornea, the peripheral cornea. So this is a purse string type suture. So uh, enter on the scleral size, uh, side out the cornea, uh, back into the conjunctiva and you really have to make sure you incorporate the, the tenon's edge as well. Uh, the times when you don't incorporate the tenon's edge, I think that's when you get tenon's retraction at that point and you can end up with areas of thinning of the conjunctival edge at the limbus and, and uh, I think that's probably what makes those uh, thin areas uh, as well as those aqueous jets uh, causing the, the thinning of the conjunctiva at the limbus. Uh, so I do a triple throw and pull it so that it's tight. It gathers up the tissues and you lock the suture. And do, I do another two throws and make sure you get a, a nice square knot. And when I'm cutting the suture, the, the idea is to have the ends buried and short. So you can use vanna scissors to cut the ends or also like the technique of using the 15 degree blade to cut the ends of the suture as short as possible to bury it. Uh, you certainly don't want your ends too short and uh, I don't trust my assistant to do step. I, I, I need to do that myself and if I'm not happy with the length of the suture, if it's cut too short, I will actually pull it out and do it again because the, the risk is that if your suture comes undone post-operatively, uh, you'll end up with a leak and you're back in there again and re-suturing. And, and that's so much more hassle than if you get it right on the table. Uh, with the buried horizontal uh, along the conjunctival edge now, there's many, many ways of doing this. Uh, but I, I like to put perhaps three end-to-end -end buried horizontal and, and some people would say that this is a little bit obsessive. Uh, but I, I suppose you have to do the technique that will give you the best sleep at night. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op.vision. I hope you enjoy this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.